Hey everyone, I just want to make another quick video. I am really astounded by this book, The Writings of Abraham. Um, I'm going to tell you the truth. I believe this book is authentic and that these are the actual writings of Abraham. Uh, just through the language alone, although it's translated in English through a Christian type of uh, lens, we could tell the source of the text was Hebrew. Um... Anyway, I just saw another confirmation from an article done on the website, so I just want to share it. Here we have um, a testimony of angels instructing Noah in building the ark. Now, here on the website, uh, we have an article, I have an article that I wrote over a year ago, um, Archaeological Proof of Fallen Angel Influence on Mankind. The Book of Enoch unknowingly confirms through Ron Wyatt's discovery of Noah's Ark. And basically, what this article is about is, according to the testimony of um, Ron Wyatt's wife, um, they found metals that didn't exist back then, like titanium and aluminum in the Ark. And the Book of Enoch tells us that the fallen angels gave us the uh, those mixing of those metals. Now, we may not have the whole... Right off the bat, people are going to say, well, you know, the, the book of Abraham says God sent his angels to, um, for Noah, you know, to build Noah's Ark, and your article says this is fallen angel activity. The book, you know, we just probably don't have the whole story. And so, um, but what can be... Um, is confirmed is that, yes, there was angelic activity uh, going on in Noah's Ark. And, um, you know, Ron Wyatt himself, excuse me, I'm turning the screen, Ron Wyatt himself um, didn't believe in the Book of Enoch. He didn't believe in the Fallen Angel story, yet his testimony confirms, um, confirms the book. So it's very astounding that you know, we probably just don't have the whole story before we tear this theory down and criticize and all that kind of stuff. We probably just don't have the whole story, but angelic influence indeed was built on Noah's Ark. And that just logically makes sense because no man could build an ark that size um, by his own knowledge. But it's just amazing how what um, Rob White and his team found in Noah's Ark, like aluminum and titanium and all that kind of stuff, um, so anyway, this is just like another confirmation into these writings of Abraham. I believe this book is authentic. It's really exciting reading it. And it gives astounding, astounding insight into the seed line war. It gives astounding insight into how the seed line of Cain was preserved in Noah's Ark through righteousness. It's really amazing. So, um, all right. This article will be linked below if you guys are interested in it. And um, that's it. I just wanted to share that this uh, Writings of Abraham is amazing. All right. Thanks for tuning in.